Ever since he started SpaceX, billionaire businessman Elon Musk has made no secret of his desire to land on and colonize the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Of course, Musk isn't the first person to dream of humans living on the Moon, and other planets too. It has been something thought of and yearned for for ages, yet we haven't even come remotely close to having a permanent residence on the moon. Musk still continues to talk about it as if it's not just a possibility, but a probability. What are Musk and SpaceX's plans for a lunar base, and how are they closer to their reality than ever before? Are we just a few years away from living on the moon? Is Elon Musk about to finally make his science fiction fantasy into a reality? Elon Musk isn't someone who accepts the status quo when it comes to technology and space travel. He likes to reach for the stars, quite literally. For years now, he's been talking about creating cities on the moon and even Mars. In fact, his ambitious plans have included ships to Mars by the year 2022, and an established city on its surface by the year 2050. Of course, those plans are fluid and may not be met, but the fact that Musk is still talking about them as a real possibility shows just how serious he actually is. Back in 2017, Musk showed off some pictures of his ideal moon base, but it was always in tandem with bigger plans to make it to Mars as well. And of course, not a lot of information about this proposed moon base was given, but the image did tell quite the tale. It showed multiple grey, round domes much like the ones you'd see in a sci-fi book. These domed environments would house astronauts and scientists, as well as dozens of vehicles to better explore the surface of the moon. Musk has also suggested that the SpaceX ship would be a major part of colonizing the moon. He has suggested it would be somehow a pivotal part of our home on the moon, tentatively titled Moonbase Alpha. How? We aren't entirely sure. And obviously Starship would do a whole lot more than simply get astronauts to the moon. It's going to do stuff like helping them to live on it. Now, not much else has been said about Elon Musk's plans to land and live on the moon. Like many of his best ideas, they're shrouded in secrecy. However, things are actually changing, and the concept of a lunar base is becoming much, much more likely. All thanks to NASA, Project Artemis, and a very impressive contract. NASA has been wanting to return to the moon for years now, and the space agency's finally got a plan in the form of Project Artemis. This major undertaking will result in brave American astronauts stepping foot on the moon for the first time since the 70s. The idea is that Artemis will take place in the year 2024, although the current coronavirus pandemic and some legal issues put that into question. Whenever it happens, Artemis will be a huge deal and a return to interstellar glory for NASA and all of America. But NASA isn't going about this alone this time. Unlike previous missions, the American government is asking for help from the businesses that know space travel the best. Recently, NASA signed a significant contract with SpaceX, allowing Musk's company to create lunar landers that will help the astronauts land and launch from the lunar surface. This contract was a huge deal, but it didn't come without some controversy. Blue Origin, the space tech company created by Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, was more than a little upset at the selection of SpaceX. In fact, Bezos and his allies sued NASA, and that lawsuit is currently making its way through the court system. Will it hold up Project Artemis for years to come? That remains to be seen. The thing that must be noted about Artemis is that it's not just a plan to land humans on the moon, but it's also a plan to start colonizing it. Project Artemis consists of four main parts. The Origin spacecraft, which is going to get astronauts to the moon, the Gateway Lunar Space Station, lunar landers provided by SpaceX, and brand new Orion Generation spacesuits. As you can tell, NASA's bitten off quite a bit with this Artemis program. It's an all-encompassing plan that will create some huge obstacles and possibilities for the future. Many have speculated that Project Artemis is the first step to a permanent lunar base, and that's why SpaceX's involvement is so curious and important. If NASA really is planning on using Project Artemis as the beginning of staying on the moon for a long, long time, why not rely on Musk and his company, which has been trying to figure out ways to do just that for years? Any long-term lunar base is going to need several things to succeed. It's going to need a power infrastructure, a water station, landing pads, radiation shielding, communication capabilities, and so much more. 
Starship can actually provide a lot of these things and will be a great way to launch the construction of a lunar base. Starship can give necessary housing to astronauts and also be used to carry tons and tons of cargo, which is going to be pivotal in starting building the base. Musk and his company are creating a very strong, reliable relationship with NASA, and that bodes well for all the parties involved. For NASA, it's receiving the best of the best in terms of technology and expertise, and is saving so much money and time by partnering with SpaceX. As for SpaceX, the company is getting a huge stepping stone that will help propel it to the surface of the moon, a place it's always wanted to be. Many people believe that this great relationship is going to keep growing, resulting in a base on the moon that is created with the cooperation of both SpaceX and NASA. And why not? It would achieve the goals of everyone involved and would be a truly record-breaking, historic moment and development. Not much is known about Musk's current plans to create a permanent place on the moon, but it is known that he has never given up on that dream. Since he first announced his intentions and mock-up arts that showed what a moon base would look like, a lot has changed for the better. Most notably, Musk and his company have worked closely with NASA. This means that Musk is much closer to transforming his ideas from works of art into tangible progress. But even Musk knows that there is still a long way to go before any groundbreaking on the moon will be done. He said that SpaceX has a lot to prove to NASA and to everyone else before they can seriously get to work on a lunar base. The billionaire businessman recently said that SpaceX has got some work to do, but we're making rapid progress. He's not wrong. Although Starship is proving itself again and again, there is a big difference between flying through space and flying and landing and living on the moon. Still, SpaceX and NASA are likely headed in the right direction, and making the possibility of a moon base more and more likely. So what's next? Well, Project Artemis needs to move forward, and currently, the road ahead is very murky. The lawsuit created by Blue Origin has to be addressed. In fact, the entire future of Project Artemis and any presence on the moon is up in the air until that is all solved. If a judge decides that NASA did nothing wrong, the work will continue and SpaceX will be ever closer to creating its moon base of the future. However, if it's declared that NASA acted improperly, everything will be blown up and essentially started from scratch. If NASA continues to work with SpaceX, the company will continue on a custom-made Starship that's made specifically to land on the surface of the moon. That will get SpaceX on the moon for the first time and will be key to the next steps. Between a Starship on the moon and a kind ear at NASA, Elon Musk and his team will be able to plot their path to creating a lunar base. SpaceX is in a great position to keep perfecting its Starship and keep fostering a positive relationship with NASA. If everything stays on the right path and that pesky lawsuit doesn't get in the way, Musk may soon announce more solid, concrete plans to keep humans on the moon and beyond.